Go. Good morning and welcome to the Sammy DeWitt Proctor Conference service of daily prayer and song. The Proctor Prayer Demic, everyone. Today is March 30th, 2021. And all month long, as you know, we've been honoring women during women's this Women's History Month. We've had women prayer warriors from around the globe. Today is no different. And whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, any other social media, we're glad you've joined us this morning. We invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we'd like you to sign up to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference by texting the letters SDPC, that's SDPC, to this number, 84576, that's 84576. To automatically sign up for those text message updates from the Sam and DeWitt Proctor Conference, we promise to only use your number for sharing information. We'll never sell or give your information away. And if you have loved ones without a smartphone or without internet access, please let them know that they can listen to the prayer every day at noon, Central Time and 8.30 p.m. Central Time by dialing this number, 909-318-7011. That's 909-318-7011. Thank you so much for joining us again. And in that it is Women's History Month, here is your host, the Reverend Tiana Webb. Thank you, Reverend Mark. Good morning, family. Saobonani. Saobonani is a Zulu greeting, which means we see all of you, we value all of you. And saying Saobonani, we acknowledge your presence, and we simply want you to know that you are important to us. Family, let's center ourselves for a moment of prayer as we begin this service. Give thanks to the Lord, for God is good. God's love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. God's love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. God's love endures forever. Lord, we just want to pause for a moment as we begin this service and thank you for your love. We will inhale and exhale 22,000 times today. And each time we do, it's a testament to your love for us. We are here and for that, we can thank you for yet another grand rising. Thank you for your protection despite the pandemics we face. Thank you for another opportunity to worship and pray in this community. We begin this service by recognizing that it is Women's History Month and for that Lord we thank you. We thank you for the women. We thank you for the women who resisted racism and militarism, who called out misogyny and patriarchy, who stood against gender-based violence and all other forms of dehumanization. We thank you for those women across history who teach and preach, who mentor and mother. We thank you for the women who were willing to pray about it and protest. Thank you for those women who planted seeds and for those women who tilled the field so that others might enjoy the harvest. Lord, we thank you that you have loved us fiercely through women who have gone on to glory. And we begin this service by remembering those women. We give thanks. We also begin this service by recognizing that it is Holy Week, Lord, and that for that, we thank you. In these pandemic times with so, when so many are suffering and so many are dying, Lord, we ask that you resurrect within our world a criminal legal system rooted in justice so that killer cops will be held to account 
and that families and victims of police violence will have authentic avenues to take for their healing and so that we might see an end to this deadly trend. Lord, we need Black faith-based social justice organizations more than ever. And we thank you for entrusting the vision of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference to Reverend Dr. Ava Carruthers and Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright Jr. and Reverend Dr. Frederick Haynes III. We thank you for their faithfulness and we thank you God for every hand and for every heart connected to the Proctor family. We thank you for our prayer warrior as she comes and leads us this morning into a deeper place of petition with you. We pray blessings over the minister of music and we ask that his gifts might continue to bring you glory. For all these things, we give thanks. Amen and ashe. Family, our prayer warrior this morning is none other than Reverend Dr. Anika Whitfield. Anika is a daughter, a sister, a godmother, a caregiver, a community organizer, an activist, a mentor, a tutor, an ordained preacher, a minister to youth, a healer, a podiatrist, an encourager, a gardener. And as we will see in real time this morning, she is a mighty, mighty prayer warrior. Her calling to be is to be a community healer, healer in her hometown on the sacred lands of Osage peoples named by the colonizers as Little Rock, Arkansas. During her undergraduate studies, she was mentored by the former Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, and she has studied abroad in Kenya, in Tanzania, and Uganda. Anika recognizes that Ongoing, her ongoing informal education from her ancestors and her family and her friends and community is what keeps her grounded and going, growing. Anika currently serves as the minister to the amazing youth at the Church Without Walls um, in Mount Rainer, Maryland, where Reverend Janelle Bruce Esquire is a, pre is a pastor and the Mid-Atlantic part-time regional organizer for Journey for Justice Alliance and Reverend Anika is a co-chair of the Gra of Grassroots Arkansas, an education, justice, equity, and liberation grassroots organization. And she serves as the co-chair of Arkansas Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. Amen. And our minister of music today is Reverend Dr. Ozzie Smith Jr. We are so blessed to have him with us each and every week. We welcome them. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you for Reverend Pastor Ozzy and for blessing us this morning with rem remembrances and reminding us that you looked beyond our faults. You continue to look beyond our faults and you continue to see our needs. Oh God, we come this morning just thanking you for yet another day. Lord God, another opportunity to try to get things right with you. God, we thank you for canceling all the attacks against our bodies and our minds and our souls, Lord God, that we would see yet another day this morning. So God, we come thanking you for just protecting us, for keeping us, for watching over us, Lord God, for holding us, for carrying us through, Lord God, situations, trials and tribulations. God, we thank you for the blessings of knowing that you not only are not, but God, you are always with us. And so we don't have to ask you to come, Lord God, you are already here. Oh God, we thank you right now for the women in our lives. God, we thank you for the mamas, the aunties, the, the grandmamas, the G-mamas, the nanas. Lord God, we thank you for our sisters, for our nieces. God, we thank you right now for the women who are doctors and architects, who are plumbers, who are teachers who are educators, who are nurses, Lord God, those who are healers, those who are do doulas, Lord God, we thank you for the women in our lives that remind us of who you are, Lord God, and whose we are. Oh God, right now in this moment, we lift up the women who are suffering at the hands of men and even other women, Lord God, men and women who have been elected officials and appointed officials who are making every effort to make our lives even more challenging and difficult. Why God, why God, why are they so hell bent on hurting women, Lord God? Why are they so focused on taking away our life and our liberty, Lord God? Why are they so determined to control the way that we honor our own bodies that are sacred, that you have given us, Lord God, that you have allowed us to use as temples unto you, Lord God. Why are so many men and even some women, Lord God, attacking us? Lord, we might not ever understand the why, but we know the who and we know who you are. So God, we thank you for continuing to carry us and to envelop us and to hold us, Lord God, even in the midst of the attacks. Oh God, we thank you right now for reminding us, Lord God, that you have not left us, nor will you ever forsake us. Oh God, we thank you in this moment right now as you continue to whisper to us and, and hold us with our ancestors' words that remind us that not only will you be with us, Lord God, not only will you carry us through, Lord God, but victory is ours in you, oh God. We, we come thanking you for the victory in this moment, Lord God, that yes, we have been attacked on every hand. Yes, God, we have heard some bad news from doctors, but God, you have allowed us to see this day. So victory is ours, God. Help us to proclaim the victory of today. God, we might not have all of the answers for today, but we know that you have them. So continue, Lord God, to help us to be humble, to seek your face, Lord God, to turn from our wicked ways, Lord God, that we might hear from you, Lord God, that you will heal this land. Oh God, we thank you right now because we stand in need of your blessings. Oh God, we are lifting up 
families this morning that we know are seeking healing, that are seeking comfort, that are seeking hope, that are seeking your help right now, Lord God. We are lifting up the Neely family right now, Lord God. Comfort in ways that they have never felt before, Lord God. Strengthen the mind, the body, and the soul, Lord God. Remind them that you are our ever-present help. You are our help in this time of trouble. Oh God, we thank you right now for the Wilson family, Lord. We, we pray that you would bless Sister Wilson right now, Lord God. Give her encouraging strength, Lord. Help her to not focus on what the doctors have said, Lord God, but to know that you are the great physician. You are the great I am. God, we lift up Josh and Candace McAllister who are in Houston right now, Lord God, seeking your healing, seeking your help, seeking your solace, Lord God. Help them to be wise in the decisions that they make, Lord God. Talk to and minister to those doctors and nurses and give them compassion as they are sharing and imparting information. God, we lift up every family that is grieving the transition of a loved one, Lord God. We lift up the Hatchet family, the Merriman family, the Doyle family, and Lord God, the Wright family, Patricia Wright, Lord God. We, we lift up all who have asked us to lift them up, Lord God, right now in our spaces, wherever we are, Lord God. We are lifting up those names, those families, families to you right now, God. We know you to be comforter. We know you, God, to be the one who lifts up our head. Lord God, we know you to be the one who restores our joy. So God, right now in this moment, we are seeking your face. We are seeking your arms of comfort. We are seeking your arms of protection. We are seeking your arms to hold us, Lord God, because we don't sometimes know how to hold ourselves up. Lord God, comfort us, rock us right now in this moment. God, we come seeking your justice in the courthouse. We come seeking your justice, Lord God, in the state houses. Lord God, we know that we have ancestors who have gone on before us who were fighting, who, who used their own very lives to be sacrifices, Lord God, so that we could go and vote and so that we could uh, be able to hold positions that um, we are elected to hold and appointed to hold. So God, in this moment, help us to remember the the fight and the love of our ancestors that we would not grow weary in our well-doing, but in due season, God, you have promised us that we will reap a harvest. So God, help us to keep pressing our way forward. God, we lift up uh, George Floyd's uh, family right now, Lord God. We know that in the in the midst of everything that is going on, that the eye is focused on them, that the nations and the world's attention is focused on them. But God, what they really want right now is they want justice, Lord God. They want justice for their family. They want justice for community. They want justice so that we don't have to see another Black life gunned down by people who say they are upholding laws. But God, these are not laws that are moral. These are laws that are not just. These are laws that are not honoring what you have taught us to do. Lord, you told us to uphold justice. You told us to love mercy. You told us that we must walk humbly with you. So God, we pray that you would minister to the hearts of the attorneys and to the judges to remember to hear from you, Lord God. Prick their hearts, remind them of the grace and the mercy that you have shown them in their lives. Remind them of the grace and the mercy you have shown to their loved ones and to their family members. Remind them, oh God, that you are God and you are God alone. We are neither to be the judge or the judgment of people, Lord God. We are not to be the executioners, Lord God. We are here because you have given us life. You have given us sacred breath. Lord God, you have given us a life that is to please and to honor you. Help us, God, to be the people you have called us to be. And God, we will be careful to give your name the praise. We will be careful to give your name the glory. We will be careful to continue to honor you and glorify and magnify you because God, you are worthy 
to be praised for every mountain, God, you brought us over for every valley, God, you have seen us through for every blessing, God, we just stretch out our hands and shout hallelujah for you, God, we give praise. We will continue to praise you with all of our hearts, with all of our souls, and with all of our minds. God, this day you have created us. We will give you all of the praise. It is in the matchless name, the mighty name of Jesus that we pray, the name that we call you sacred, the name that we know you as God. We come saying thank you. Ashe and amen. It is so. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Powerful, powerful service. Thank you, Reverend Anika, for that powerful prayer. And thank you, Reverend Ozzie, for blessing us with song. Reverend Anika, thank you so much for calling out families by name this morning. We have seen many other families' names lifted in the chat. And we thank those who are watching uh, for praying with us and for sharing those names. We certainly will be praying for each name lifted this morning. Family, you know the Proctor Conference is a 365-day ministry with programs and initiatives that touch people all over the world, from South Africa to Chicago, from Atlanta to Oakland, from Palestine to California, from Ghana to Mississippi, the Proctor work, the Proctor impact, and the Proctor family spans all over the world. So we invite you to give financially to the Proctor Conference so that we may might continue to do this work together. The Proctor Conference is still receiving donations for the Jackson Relief Fund. Many of you have already given, and if you have not made the move to give, I want to remind you that there are three ways that you may do so. You can visit our website, sdpconference.info, on the Invest Contribute tab. Um, you can find the Proctor Conference on Givelify, and if you want to give specifically, 
to the Jackson Relief Fund, you can also give through our partners, Lot Carry, and they can be found on Givelify. We can't do this work alone. We are so blessed and so grateful to be in community with you. Amen. Thank you once again to our sister prayer warrior healer, Reverend Dr. Anika, for covering our morning, for leading us in worship this morning with those beautiful, beautiful songs. Thank you all for watching and praying with us. Um, family, thank you for honoring women with us all month long in affirmation as we depart this virtual space. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt and you shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called repairer of the breach and restorer of streets to live in. Amen and Ashe family. We pray that you depart this place in peace and in power, restored and anchored, ready to face whatever may come this day. We love you. By God's grace, we will meet again right back here tomorrow morning for prayer. Have a beautiful day.